Hey guys, welcome to part two. So let's just pick up where we left off. Um, let's make the t the handles here. If you can hit Shift S, brings your cursor to the select the selected. If you choose, you can choose whatever you want it to be. You can bring your object to the cursor. And I remember having this problem when uh, I'd be working on our game that we're building. And all of a sudden, just randomly, uh, my cursor would disappear. And I later on realized that I would just accidentally hit a button and it deletes your cursor and sends it off on this really, really far, far off and it's impossible to find. And for a while I was like, well, great, now I can't add any objects. I have to shift D and um, unselect everything. So it was really frustrating until I learned that. So if you're ever having that issue, uh, please uh, remember it's shift S and it'll bring up that menu that you can bring your cursor back. It's very helpful if that ever happens to you. And I suggest that it will. You can push this, you can see through your object where you want your vertices to be. And right now I'm I'm just doing just building the handle. It's very simple, but you know, from the distance that uh it'll be previewed at, it'll look quite quite nice. Um be sure to check out uh, Benjamin Cogswell's tutorial on how to make a guitar. That's something uh, pretty cool that uh, most people might be interested in giving a shot. Yeah. Um, okay, that's that's the sink, the actual cabinet. And uh, while we're doing that, why don't we just go right ahead and set up our camera. And I'm just hitting G and like S or grab along the X or grab along the Y just to move it in properly so we can get an appropriate view of what we want to see in our uh, viewport. That should be good enough. Um, let's add a quick mirror back there just for later on. What kind of bathroom doesn't have a mirror of some sort? Alright. That should do just fine. I'm just going to change the color of it so I can see it. There. If you add a material, it makes it a little bit brighter. Um, okay. Cool. Let's add... Let's start making the, the, uh, the faucets for this, for the sink here. Oops. Uh, once again, as a reminder to people, um, we do take ideas for tutorials, so if you would like us to make a scene, object, uh, a tutorial explaining how to do something, uh, we would be more than happy to help you out. Um, that's what we're here for. That's why I make tutorials and Benjamin makes tutorials. Um, yeah, if you guys have any ideas at all, just uh, please give us an email. And we would try to start working on it as soon as we possibly can. We do have other ideas for tutorials too, so if we don't take your idea right away, please realize that it has been noted and that we would try to get to work on it as soon as we could. So right now I'm just building uh, the knobs for the sink here. And once again, 
Um, since this is kind of a beginner tutorial, I won't be going into high detail. This will be fairly simple modeling. It's basically just showing you how to manipulate simple shapes and kind of make them look the way you want. Um, yeah, it's coming along. And now we're going to do the little faucet part. So, oops. Let's go ahead and add a cube, size that down intensely. Since we don't want it to be a perfect exact cube, just size it and then bring it up along the Z axis like so. We're just bringing it out, making it and um, there you go. Um, now, what we, there's, uh, there's two of them in the scene, and we're going to have two of them here as well. And a quick, uh, trick to note, if you can hit, if you select everything, it moves, but you don't want to select everything every time, so just hit Control J to join the whole object, and now it's a whole object in itself, so you don't have to select everything. Just shift D that and bring it in. And I'm going to have to start hurrying up here because I don't want to turn this into a huge part. Huge, long, long-ass tutorial. So I'm going to try to finish up the bathtub here. And then I'm going to go in and add extra detail. And then we'll go into the texturing part. So we're just adding cubes and manipulating them to make them look appropriate. Yep, um, that should be a good height. Okay, and then we're actually going to try to do the exact same thing that we did with the sink. We're going to let's select solid again. Just doing control R, making loop cuts. And loop cuts are probably the most helpful thing an editor could possibly use. And once again, make it its own object. So hit P. Subdivision surface. And we're going to do Control R, except this time for the sink, we just left it like that. But now we're going to kind of do that to just make it look like, you know, I don't know how to say it, but you don't want it to look like a this curvy thing that you just lie in like a coffin. It has to look like a bathtub. And add a bevel modifier to this and bring this down so it looks good. Um, take this molding here and just bring it, oops. Just bring it across here, just so that way it, you have it's little extra detail that you put into your work. Uh, perfection in um, in art and 3D art is imperfection. So if you have everything laid out perfectly, it's just not going to look as good. Um, wow, we're really running out of time here. Okay, um, we're gonna add a quick little picture here. And we're going to add that in next time. So um, that's the basic layout for the object that, or the objects that we're going to have. I'm going to go in and add a few extra details 
and then we're going to look at the texturing and compositing side of the of the tutorial series for this. So thank you very much for watching, and be sure to check out part three. All right, bye guys.